to all of the winners of all the awards today. Bloomington Rotary is a fantastic organization. The founders did a great job in starting it, and not just the people who are the leaders, but all the people who are members have done a wonderful job to continue that tradition. I've been honored to be a member since 1972, just out of college. Uh, I joined, uh, they believe that, my God, that's okay. Anyway, since, since 1972, and, and I found it a great, great experience. And even though I don't come as often as I have, uh, again, congratulations to you all. In 1988, the board of directors decided that there should be an award <clears throat> that would be passed out for ongoing, continuous service to Bloomington Rotary. We have our annual awards and we have other awards, but this was an award that was meant to say this particular person has been so active in this club for so long and done so many things and so much service above self that there should be a special award. If you'll turn to page four of your program, that does count the cover, by the way. <laughs> and who better to name that award after than Harold Larson? Most of you probably don't know Harold Larson. He's probably the most generous person I've ever met and one of the most dedicated people, not just to Rotary, but to a whole variety of other kinds of charitable and community activities. I hope someday you all get a chance to meet him, that you probably won't, but, uh, but he is just a, such a great person. And so the award in 1988 was named after him. And the first person to get that award, obviously, was Harold Larson, and so fitting. Uh, I was honored by the board to come to present that award today. As you can see in the program, it's not an award that's passed out every year. It's passed out only when the board believes that someone has special service that needs to be recognized. And I'm very proud today that the person that's going to receive that award is someone that I brought into Rotary a number of years ago. Well, after I start giving a few of his accomplishments, uh, you will know who it is right away, but don't tell anybody <laughs> until I get done. He's past Rotarian of the Year, past New Rotarian of the Year, past President and many different offices in this club, member of the Foundation, 100% attendance, charge of stride, involved in the reading program for young people. Uh, Paul Harris, major gift supporter. And a variety of other activities in Bloomington Rotary. The person that you can call on if you need something to be done in this club, you would call on this particular new Paul Harris winner. In addition to all of his activities, with regard to the Bloomington Rotary, he's been extremely active in the district. He is currently the treasurer of the District Rotary Foundation and will become chair this next year. He's been involved in another, a number of other activities with regard to District 5950. And, um, uh, too numerous to mention. I think one of them, uh, although I did not get this specifically, I think he was also involved with program chairman for District 5950. People uh, have sent letters to Dave, and I'm going to just read a little bit of each one of them. People from 5950 who have remembered this person and liked him very well. I think I'll call him Tom. Just because uh, I would screw up the name, and you would all know who it is, although some may know already. So this is from our good friend, Diane Kirby, one of the great Bloomington Rotarians. She said, 
Tom pays particular attention to detail. Tom is persistent, precise, and patient, and most importantly, good-humored uh, when, he, when he's involved with Rotary and otherwise. She said a number of other things, but uh, Mr. Lucas says I can't spend too much time up here, although someone mentioned, Jack, it's sort of nice to see you. The only trouble is the only time you come to Rotary is when you speak, and so uh, maybe I won't come again, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, Sandy Sly is a past district governor, and she said, and here's her, one of her many comments, and again, I won't read the whole thing. I hear often that one of the joys of being a Rotarian is to enjoy the company of like-minded people with whom you share values that will make a difference in the world, today and in the future. That is the gift you have been to me, Tom. I cherish your friendship. You and your wife have become great friends through the Rotary world. And then finally, but not finally, we could have a number of others. But finally, the district governor-elect, who will be taking over now, I guess, July 1. Well, July 1 is not now, but almost now. Some would say it's even this week, <laughs> July 1. <laughs> and he said, um, there is not another person I am aware of that has contributed more to the ideals and object of Rotary than Tom. Though your service to Rotary at every level is remarkable, you have already been a gift to me personally and a gift to the world of Rotary. Like I say, we could have many more. Well, of course he has to be successful. He grew up in suburban Chicago <clears throat> and went to uh, Carleton College and although I, do not, I did not check on his grades, I'm sure they were very, very good. But that was not the most important part of what happened to him at Carleton. Because he met uh, his wife there. As we always say, a wife makes a person great. Unfortunately, I haven't found that out yet. <laughs> <laughs> But he met his wife at Carlton, and they've been a fantastic team ever since. He had a distinguished career at Northwestern National Life. And then, right in the heart of his career, he decided to dedicate himself to community service. What a, what a wonderful kind of a decision to dedicate, and he has done that. Over the years, he's been incredibly active, in addition to Rotary, he's been incredibly active in his church, many other community organizations. He ran for the legislature, did not win, got beat by a candidate who cannot be beat, uh, but he ran a fantastic campaign and uh, worked extremely hard. He's a member of Jim Ramstead's Tax Advisory Committee and was involved with Senator Coleman on tax planning for him. He was Governor Pawlenty's campaign treasurer. And it goes on and on. You see, I would say more things, but I ran out of paper. <laughs> so I cannot say anything more other than this is a dedicated community servant, and especially dedicated to Rotary and Bloomington Rotary. It's a great honor and a pleasure, a friend of all of ours, Tom, no, Don Stein. <laughs> Oh, you want
With Don. Or by myself. With Don. I lost 22 pounds. You look like him. I found him. Thank you. Uh, I'm not very good at accepting awards like this, but thank you very much, and uh, it was a surprise. <laughs> thank you.